Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can make a car look like it's gold plated and I'm going to demonstrate this on two images, this one over here and this one. And right from the start I'll tell you that this trick is very easy but it will not work on black or white cars and in a way that is a good thing because if it worked on black or white cars it will create all kinds of problems for example uh, this here uh, these gaps will become gold plated everything that appears as black or white on the image will become gold plated and this will pretty much uh, make this trick uh, useless so again it, it's not working on black or white cars and also works best if you have a, a glossy metallic looking uh, paint on the car so let's get started I'll go to the first image here and this effect is really easy if you have a car on a white background like this and the first thing I want to do is create a new layer with the same size of, of uh, this original layer and the quickest way to do this is just to duplicate this layer from this option and then making sure the top layer is selected going here and clicking on the foreground color we'll start this dialog from which we can change the foreground color I'm going to select this color now if you want to use and I recommend using exactly the same color you see here the HTML notation you see the uh, letters and the numbers you can just type it in over here or I'm going to include it in the description of the video where you can copy it and then paste it here and once you have the color just click OK to apply it to the uh, foreground color and then with the top layer selected go into the edit menu fill with foreground color and the next step will be to go to the mode here and making sure you are on the top layer with the flat color here going to the mode and changing it to hue and you can see how this affected the image you have the gold plated effect you can see the before if I turn off this layer and now you can see the after and this was pretty easy because we have the car on this white background and it's pretty clean we don't need to do anything further now with this image here we're going to need to do a little bit more again the first step will be to duplicate the layer from this option then we already have the uh, gold color here applied to the foreground so just go to the edit menu and fill with foreground color then change the mode to hue and now you see that some of uh, the background was affected I'm going to turn off the top layer and turn it on again you can see some of the background is affected the car looks great you can see how the gold plated effect looks but we need to uh, get rid of the effect on the background so first thing I'll do is right click on this top layer and make sure we have an alpha channel so click to add it I want to fix a big portion of the background quick and easy that's why I'm going to make a rough selection around the car using the free select tool I'm just going to click around here and start clicking like this to create different points and making a rough selection around the car which will save us some time later so just make a selection like this close the selection then go to select invert then hit the delete key as you can see this removed a lot of the effect on the background then go to select none the next step will be to grab the eraser tool and choose a fuzzy brush we already have a fuzzy brush selected here so I'm going to leave this one and change the size increase it a little bit to something like this and just started painting over the areas that I want to uh, remove the gold plated effect from just paint like this now don't worry if you go inside of the car we can fix this later I'm going to zoom in holding down the control key turning the mouse wheel forward zoom in like this 
zooming out is turning the mouse wheel backwards. And just go to the different areas and fix the background, whatever needed, just adjust the size of the brush and carefully paint. And if you go inside like this and uncover the original paint of the car, just switch to the anti-erase mode and paint it back. Now I'm going to pause here to go around the car. I finished erasing around the car and I can leave it like this but there is one more step I would like to do and this is a little bit tricky because if I turn off the effect here you can see the glass, the windshield here and the headlights are reflecting some of the color of the paint of the car and over here as well we have the same reflection but maybe we have a little bit too much of the effect on the windshield and on the headlights so we want to remove it but just partially so we don't uncover these blue reflections here again with the eraser tool and let's increase the size of the brush something like this fits and now let's zoom in on the headlights and also this time we're going to decrease the opacity of the brush to around 20 and just click hold down the left mouse button and start erasing do not release the left mouse button as this is going to lead to building up the effect and getting an even effect so just click hold and go over the headlights here then once we are done release the mouse zoom out go over here and again here we hold down the left mouse button and paint over the headlight without releasing just going over carefully around the headlight making sure we cover everything and once we are done we release the, uh, the mouse button and let's move on to the windshield here and repeat the same thing click and hold and just start going over the windshield now don't worry if you go over the same area uh, while you're holding the mouse this will not uh, build up the effect only if you release it and click again it will build up the effect and just make sure we cover everything here be careful when you get close to the paint of the car carefully erasing a little bit down here over here and you can repeat just to make sure we got everything It's not fatal if we miss something as long as it looks good to us. It's okay if we miss a small portion. Now let's zoom out and see how this looks. And I think this looks much better now that we uh, remove some of the effect from the windshield and from the headlights. I didn't go very close to the edges here. Uh, this is because I used a bigger brush and if I did this I was going to uh, go over the paint which I don't want to do but it's okay because if I uh, go to the original car you see here towards the edges the uh, paint reflection is much stronger so this is really doesn't make any difference uh, the most important part was to remove some of the effect from the uh, windshield here and now it looks much better and this is the final result i hope this tutorial was useful if it was make sure to like the video if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and visit it for more visit my second channel for inkscape tutorials link is in the description of the video and that's it for this one bye for now